If you want to create a column of serial numbers for a list of records or transactions, you want to make sure that you do not count blanks or hidden values. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you two methods for doing that, either by using dynamic array functions or classic functions. Each one has an advantage and a disadvantage. Let me know in a comment which one you prefer. And now, let's switch to Excel. I want to create a column of dynamic serial numbers that skips the blanks. And if I delete a record, or if I add a new record, everything renumbers. I'll be doing this using two different techniques, so let's get started. In my first solution, I'll be using a by row dynamic array function. The by row is a lambda helper function. It will apply a certain function to each row of the selected range. So I type equal by row, and then I hit tab. I select the first cell, cell B2, shift colon, but I want to extend it, let's say, to 500, and then I type a comma. Now I provide the lambda function. So I type lambda. I open bracket. The lambda function requires a parameter which refers to each single row in the range B2, B500. I can call it anything. I'll call it X. What's the calculation you want to apply? I'll be using an if function. I type if, and then I hit tab. I want to measure the length of each row, so I type len, and then I hit tab, len of what? Len of x, which is each row. If it's not zero, what do you want to do? Well, I want a count a function, then I use a count a, and I'll be counting from b2, the first row, up to x. I close the bracket for the count a, I type a comma, otherwise, what's the value if false? Then in this case, I don't want anything. I type double code, double code, and now I close the bracket for the if, for the lambda, and for the by row. This is a dynamic array function, so when I hit enter, it spills automatically, and it creates a column of dynamic serial number. Let's test by deleting one of the values. When I hit delete, everything renumbers. Let's test by typing a new value. Then if I type, let's say, my name, and then I hit enter, everything renumbers. What if we hide some rows? I'm going to select two rows, and I use the shortcut for hiding control 9. Now I have a problem. The by row function does not accommodate for hidden rows, and that's a disadvantage. Let's undo control Z. Now let's move to the next solution. In the next worksheet, I'll be creating a classic function. So I type equal if, and then I hit tab. If cell B2 is not blank, then in this case, I want a subtotal that counts. The subtotal is a replacement for 11 functions. So I use subtotal. I select 103, which corresponds to count A. And then what do you want to count? I select cell B2. I hit shift colon. I close the bracket for the subtotal. I lock the first B2 to create an expandable range. And then I click at the end, I type a comma. Otherwise, what do you want? I want a blank, then double quote, double quote. I close the bracket for the if function. When I hit enter, because this is a classic function, then the disadvantage here, I have to copy it down. I can copy the function down for a certain number of rows, more than the range of values that I have. And now I can test. What if I delete a certain value? Now everything renumbers, and that's fine. What if I type a new name? Let's say Sandra. When I hit enter, everything renumbers and is dynamic. What if I try to hide some rows? I select these two rows. I hit Control 9 to hide. And the subtotal function excludes the hidden rows. Although the dynamic array spills, it does not exclude the hidden rows. And the subtotal function doesn't spill but it excludes the hidden rows. Which one you prefer? Please write me down in a comment. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.